What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel if you're a returning subscriber and if you're new. What's up? In today's video, I'm coming to you guys with my third third, well really third <laughs> and final unboxing of manga that I purchased on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Now this video is a little special because unlike my other two where it was just from Amazon, I actually got this manga from my designated like manga slash anime store so I'm really excited. You guys already probably know from the title and from the thumbnail but I got these manga volumes from Crunchyroll. This is my first time ever shopping from Crunchyroll. I actually originally when I wanted to shop from a designated manga store I wanted to get my stuff actually from Right Stuff Anime but by the time that I went to the website um I saw that it had said that Right Stuff Anime had been bought over by Crunchyroll, so I had to shop on Crunchyroll to get this manga volumes and stuff. But at the time, I was just like, uh, I'll wait. But then I decided to look at the um, page um, on the website on Black Friday, and I saw the deals, and I was just like, oh, okay, alrighty. So, well, originally, let me be honest, what made me go to Crunchyroll to see what they had going on was because I wanted to uh, purchase a series that I had been looking into for quite some time, and on Amazon, they had certain volumes in stock for other volumes you would have to buy from like second 10 people and then like it wasn't gonna come until like sometime in the middle of December and I'm just like I don't want to wait especially if I can get the second and third volume by tomorrow but the first volume I have to wait till December I didn't want that so it made I went to Crunchyroll to see if they had all the volumes and they did they had all the volumes in stock so I'm going to be honest with you guys, in these like packages, I kind of have like full set of volumes. Like I think the series only had like nine volumes, so I bought all nine of the volumes. And then I also finished out some series that I already have on my bookshelf. So I bought the remaining volumes I needed for that series and stuff like that. Also in this video, I have about th a total of three boxes that I'm going to be unboxing for you guys. Um, so Rocky, you can't fit. You can't fit. But best believe he gonna try to fit his big butt over here. Even though he cannot fit the way it's set up without hitting my tripod. Because his back paw is literally right, right there. It's right there. And you do not care. Anyways, like I was saying, I have three boxes. So, yeah. If you guys want to just go ahead and jump right into the unboxing, then I put a time step up above me. Or somewhere in this video where you guys can just go ahead and skip to the unboxing. But if you guys want to stay and hear my little input and my experience with Crunchyroll, then just stay right here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get into the little details, a little bit of the pros and cons that I've had in my experience with Crunchyroll. So here's the thing. Let me pull up my phone just to pull up, you know, the info. So again, like I told you guys, I have a total of three packages from Crunchyroll. Okay, the first order that I ended up making was on November 23rd. 2023 okay so november 23rd 2023 was when i made my first purchase from crunchyroll i had a total of 16 volumes in this order then i had another order that i placed also on november 23rd 2023 and i had a total I had a total of 10 volumes in that order and then i know uh three days later on november 26 2023 i placed uh my third and final order on crunchyroll and i had a total of i had a total of 12 volumes in that order okay so here's the deal with my experience with crunchyroll my experience with crunchyroll is that well again i told you guys i had placed two orders on the same day which was thanksgiving and i placed another order three days later later as far as like getting confirmation about certain things from crunchyroll i would say there's some cons with that so i got confirmation from all sorry if my camera just twitched rocky just hit the tripod like i said he would do um i got confirmation from every order that i placed but when it came to getting confirmation of my orders being shipped that's where the cons come in because i again had a total of three boxes but i only ever received two emails stating that my orders have been shipped and that was my second and third order so my first order i never got a confirmation that my items been shipped even though I placed them on the same day, my second order, I placed them both on November 23rd. Originally, I thought the reason why that was the case was because the first order that I had, I kind of had like a little set 
it's not a box set but like I assume that the first package didn't get a confirmation that it had shipped because in that package I had like a set like you could buy three volumes like maybe four or five or six of a series and it'd be like 20 something dollars or something like that so I had that in my first package and I also had one like that in my fourth package but again I'm mean, excuse me not my fourth package my third package but again that doesn't make sense because my third package did also get me I got an email saying that the item had been shipped so I was like um oh. I just assumed that maybe that was the case especially because when they send you um your first like your order has been placed email you can scroll all the way to the bottom and like look and click track your package uh track your order so when I click that it shows that the individual volumes that I bought were shipped but the three like set that I ordered was not shipped so I just assumed maybe that they were going to ship them in different packages I wasn't sure I don't know but I just like okay I'm gonna wait it out especially because I ordered these on Thanksgiving I kind of was like going to give them to the next following week I was going to give them to the next following week to get everything to me or get like some type of email saying stuff had been shipped I wasn't too pressed on getting like emails so quick especially because I ordered this on a holiday of course they're not gonna be working on a holiday and then I was kind of like also being lenient because that was that was on a Thursday so Friday is Black Friday maybe I don't know if they're gonna be working then or what's going to be going on you know with all the deals and stuff and how a lot of people might be buying stuff on Black Friday as well with them so I was just like mm, let me not be too you know annoyed that I haven't got an email saying that that had been shipped even though my second order was shipped so I was just like mm, let me see how everything goes so I want to say again I ordered that stuff on a Thursday I want to say I end up receiving my package the next following Thursday so about a week I got my package now here's again con I have yet to receive even to this day even though I have all three packages receive an email from Crunchyroll stating that my items have been delivered to me I have not received an email yet in fact I haven't even received an email for my first package saying it's been shipped like it has no email saying it's shipped no email saying it's been delivered so and in fact even if I go back which I did I want to say yesterday I went back to that email the first one I went to the whole you know if I go to the bottom copy and paste my um, I'm copying and pasting my order um, order number and it says view order status I put in my order number put in my email put in my postal code and click check status to this day and I'll insert a screenshot to show you guys I'll blur out all the stuff I need to blur out um yeah if you guys can see from the screenshot the first thing says shipped the second one says not shipped and that's what I mean the second thing is pretty much like my um my manga bundle of of volumes five six and seven of a series that I have is that bundle it still says not shipped but my individual vo um, volume which you can see says 16 items has been shipped it doesn't even say deliver it when you look up your order status even though I already have all the stuff here so that's really a big con that I would say from Crunchyroll I don't know if it's just because you know they are currently getting stuff over switched over from right stuff anime I'm not sure I don't know because again I never even sh like shopped right stuff anime before I never got the chance to so I don't know you guys may know more than me but just to give you guys a heads up and my experience with Crunchyroll I mean was my stuff delivered in a good timely matter yes I would say so I mean obviously it's not the same as Amazon because Amazon you know cause sometimes you get your stuff the next day two days from now you know it's, it doesn't take that long for me to get my stuff from anime but not anime but Amazon but here's the thing I would rather shop with Crunchyroll or any like designated manga anime store besides Amazon if my stuff is going to be packaged carefully and in good quality and I don't have to worry about nits and nets on my actual individual volumes and as you guys know from the many 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 videos I've done of unboxing which is originally all pretty much all my unboxings are done major majority of it is done with Amazon and you know how many times I complain with Amazon and how they deliver my stuff because they literally just throw shit in a box and here there you go 
They do not care about stuffing stuff around it so nothing gets damaged. They just do not care about the, the amount of manga volumes I had to send back and get replacements ordered for because the original ones were bent, tore up. Like, manga is not cheap. Books in general are not cheap, but manga especially is not cheap. And I'm not dealing with knit nats, all that for a $12 volume. I paid, I paid $12 for that. I'm going to need it to be coming in the quality of a $12 manga, okay? And Amazon just don't do that. So, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to give you guys a heads up. The two boxes that I have in this three box unboxing, I did open them because I wanted to check and see which like which order they were. And I can already tell that I really do like the packaging of what Crunchyroll did, okay? I don't know if this... I've heard, like, I've watched some videos of the available videos that are out of people's experience with Crunchyroll now that they've bought over Right Stuff Anime. And a lot of people are saying that they think that, um, they pretty much, it's, it's Right Stuff Anime's packaging with Crunchyroll's name on it, pretty much. So, that's a good thing because I've heard really great things about Right Stuff Anime's packaging. So, I could already say, I, will, I don't mind waiting a week if my stuff is going to be packaged top tier. But I would like to be notified when stuff has been shipped, when stuff has been delivered. Because again, to this day, it still doesn't say my first package has been shipped, let alone delivered. And I never got an email for any of my packages, one, two, or three, that they have been delivered. The only way I could check to know it's been delivered if I go through USPS, which is who all delivered all my packages. I will see then that my stuff has been delivered, but not from Crunchyroll Row themselves. So... I did see one comment of someone saying that even though they had a package delivered to them from Crunchyroll, they received it like maybe a long time past the time it had been delivered that it had finally been delivered. So I don't know if that's going to happen with me or what. Like am I going to have to wait months from now and it's going to be like, oh yeah, I have been delivered even though it's been months since I've gotten it. I don't know. But that's pretty much really a con that I have. A pro is that from what I've seen from the first two boxes, I did like the packaging. So that's a pro. Um, the price is a pro, and I also got it on Black Friday. But also, I think originally just Crunchyroll's prices in general, because some majority of the manga volumes I saw are cheaper than the ones on Amazon. Like Amazon might have one or two volumes beat where they are cheaper than Crunchyroll, but majority of the um, manga volumes are cheaper on Crunchyroll compared to Amazon. So I would say that is another pro. Okay, like the Black Friday deals, prices were cheaper than Amazon's, and then the regular prices, the majority of the time, are cheaper than Amazon's. So that, I mean, I don't know if I necessarily necessarily say it's a con that it takes longer to come, because again, if it's gonna be packaged perfectly, I don't mind waiting a week. But yeah, so far, I guess you could say I have about three pros: the prices, the packaging, and the Black Friday pricing. So that's got like two pricing pros and the cons not being notified when your items have been shipped and delivered that's the con um but other than that i've been pretty good so yeah i'm not i'm not i'm not too mad at that that was it that was pretty much my i got three pros two cons so take that with what you, you know want to do with it i know again a lot of you guys are probably checking Crunchyroll out now because it is now taking over Right Stuff Anime. A lot of you guys are like diehard fans of Right Stuff Anime, so maybe you want to know this information or know what's going to be going on with now if you try to purchase stuff with Crunchyroll. So hopefully that helps. Um, this again is my first time purchasing from Crunchyroll. Uh -huh. I'm really excited. Again, I already saw in the first two my how it was packaged, and I really like it. I think it's really nice. So now we're just going to go ahead and hop right into the unboxing. Alright you guys, so now we are back on the floor. You guys already know from the second unboxing I did, which all my box sets. Uh, I already took off you know, my address and everything, but as you guys probably, hopefully you guys can see. Let me try to make it. You can see the Crunchy Rose. So now they took it over the name. I don't know if you guys you might be familiar with the address. But this is my first box set that I ended up ordering from Crunchyroll. Now let me just give you guys the prices. So for this total package, I paid $127.47. This is also including tax. Shipping was free. I'm gonna have two different 
um, series in this um, unboxing. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the first one is my love mix up. Okay, I have the complete set. Again, this was actually the series that I wanted to get on Amazon, but they ended up not having it on um, the first volume in stock, but they had the second and third one. So when I went to Crunchyroll, I saw that they had the entire series like available, even volume 9, which is the um, last volume in the series. And I think I got these. How much did I pay for these? Oh, let me check. These were on sale. They are they on sale for $9.99, but they ended up getting marked down to $6.69 for the Black Friday deals. Yes, so this is the first volume, my love. Mix up, I've really been interested in this one for a while, so I'm kind of happy that I waited because I got a good deal for them. And I'll read you synopsis of this one. It says, and I'm so sorry, y'all already know if I mispronounce anything, just ignore it, okay? Aoki has a crush on Hashi, Hashimoto, the girl in the seat next to him in class. But he despairs when he borrows her eraser and sees she's written the name of another boy, Ida, on it. To make matters more confusing, Ida sees him holding that very eraser and thinks Aoki has a crush on him. So that's synopsis and that's the entire series. I know it's a BL series. The cover is so stinking cute. And also I did kind of flip through the art. I ain't gonna cap. The art looks really good. I ain't gonna cap. Uh, that's really my biggest thing when it comes to like panels and stuff on the art because sometimes I can get a headache if it's like too hard to understand but the panels look really good I also realized that another thing that also kind of gives me a headache of stuff is the words like sometimes the words can be like really really small but these words like actually look really big and easy to understand Oh, I'm not spoiling nothing for you guys because I'm not really even seeing nothing, but that's the first volume. And guys, you see how it's packaged? Amazon ain't never did no shit like this. <laughs> okay, this is volume six. These are going to kind of be in, out of order, but you, you get it. It's all nine volumes of this series. This is volume six. This is volume two. Oh, it has a little mark on here. It's a mark on here. I don't know if you guys can see. You see that? And that is not coming off. That's kind of annoying. But then again, six, six dollars. I let it slide, I guess. This is volume two. This looks so cute. I cannot wait to start reading this. And I'm so happy that I have all the volumes because best believe I'm probably going to binge read it. This is volume three. Alrighty, this is volume five. I love mix up. This is volume four. This is volume 8. So far so good as far as the packaging. Like other than that little dent. That looked like that's a thing with printing. It didn't really have anything to do with the packaging. Just something in printing is the whole like dot on it. So yeah I can't really penalize Crunchyroll for that. Volume 9. This is the final and last volume in the series. And then volume 7 all right so now this is the second series that I purchased in this haul and this is none other than something's wrong with us this is also another series that I was really looking for into hopping into uh, so let me just go ahead and read the synopsis to you guys it says Murray to the enemy Nao has followed in her mother's footsteps to become a traditional Japanese sweets maker even at 21, her skills are unparalleled, landing her a spot at a world-class confectionery company. However, when she meets the young, handsome heir to the company, she recovers. She recognizes Subaki, her first friend and the same boy who framed her mother for murder over a decade ago. 
As the only witness to the crime, Nao seizes her chances to get close to him, but instead of finding answers, she falls deeper for Tsubaki's Allure, a spine-chilling, steamy romance from the creators of Arisa. So th first of all, the synopsis of it sounds 10 out of 10, okay? First of all, your best friend framed your mother for a murder, and now I guess you want to get back at him until you start falling in love with him. Oh, this sounds really, really good. It sounds like also some type of miscommunication type of trope. I ain't gonna cap. Or maybe, did he, did, did she know this for real, for real? Like he's the one who framed her? Did she really do it? You know, stuff like that. But it sounds really, really good. I didn't flip through this one. Oh, I hope I did. Lord, that was somebody dead on this floor. Let me not look at that. Here are some panels. I'm not really reading that thing. I'm just flipping to show you guys the art and the kind of look for myself as well. Let's just see what it looks like. The art looks really good too. I like this. This is also a, a, a bigger manga volume than like my love makes up. Those are smaller compared to size. Just to give you guys like a reference. as far as size go it's a little smaller but yeah that something's wrong with us and I want to say I have volumes 1 through 7 of this so this is volume 1 so this is volume 7 volume 7 6 and 5 are in the bundle that I bought this is volume 7 they, they look a little you know look cute okay but I guess the first one they kind of look like they were very intimate as well but volume two now listen this volume two is bent up and I don't even know if it's because of the packaging or what let me show you guys if you got I don't know if you guys can see the dent I don't even know if you guys can see it yeah I don't know if you guys can even see it but I might insert a picture it is like a line right here like all the way to right here it's like like it was bent so I don't I don't know what happened with volume 2 y'all mm, 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 mm. and then we're gonna go to volume 3 cause again everything was in here tight and snug so I don't know if that was happened beforehand this is volume 4 like before they package it in the box that that happened but volume 4 volume 6 you guys hear any licking that's rocket <laughs> and then volume 5 so I'm happy to see that my bundle actually did be delivered cause it, again it still says not shipped <laughs> But yeah, so that's the first package. So this is volumes one through seven of Something Is Wrong With Us. Bam. So we got that. And then one through nine of My Love Mix Up. You guys can see volumes one through nine. Now let's go ahead and get into the second box. Now also in this um, box, I just have volumes that I needed to, well, I have a new volume, like new series, and then I believe, well actually, yeah, the first two books in the series that I have, I got from Amazon, so I got the second two in this haul. So pretty much everything that I have in this haul is pretty much me just continuing series that I already have. I actually ended up finishing a series by purchasing the remaining volumes in this box and then I had bought the other two of a series that I had purchased in my Amazon unboxing. But the total for this package was about $79.32. That was the amount for this one. As you guys can already see, Death Note. So yeah, I actually only had like the first four volumes in Death Note. I now have the remaining, so all the way to volume 12. So 
yeah let's go ahead and get to the unboxing i just go ahead and go with this one first this is volume eight i will show you guys the pen but i mean i feel like this is such a like a top tier manga volume series so i don't know if i need to like show you guys the panels you probably already know the art <laughs> You got volume 11. I like these though. I love. That's originally. Because originally I was like thinking. Cause you know it's other ways you can like collect death notes. But they have so many different like ways. Like you get the matte black. Like big jumbo ones. But I'm kind of happy I went along. And got the original. Like volumes. Because these are actually really really cute. Like I like the artwork of these. This is death note volume 10. is Death Note Volume 9. This is Death Note Volume 5. And I need to get back into reading Death Note actually. I think I stopped on Volume 2. Death Note Volume 7. Now that I have all of them. I can just binge read really. Also let me show you guys. I ended up paying like $6.69 for the Death Note volumes. So I paid $6.69 for these. Which I think is a good price because Amazon, I don't think they know $6.69 on them. Okay. This is Death Note volume 6. I'm trying to not spoil you guys with other series in here. And then this is the last and final volume of Death Note volume 12. This one looks so good. Now, the other two series that I got, or the two volumes in the series that I got is, I guess I can try to go in order, Volume 3 of Yakuza Fiance. No, I have not even read the first one, but I, it sounded really, really interesting, so I was like, let me just go ahead and continue and buy the next two in the series, and I believe for Yakuza Beyonce, I paid $10.04 for these. And I think, what are these? Like $14.99. Hopefully, you guys can see it says $14.99. So, got a couple dollars off of these. And then I got Yakuza Fiance Volume 4. So, yep. Three and four of Yakuza Fiance. five through twelve volumes of death note bam and final box this one's a big one from crunchyroll let me because i haven't opened this one up yet because i actually when did i receive this one i think i received it thursday no friday because that's another thing that i've realized <laughs> when my package was supposed to be like shipped or no, delivered from USPS. They will tell me one date, but best believe that date that they told you. Just push it back to the next following day. Because this was actually supposed to come Thursday. It didn't come till Friday. So, yeah. And that happened for all my packages. Well, this package and the second package. Because again, like I told you guys, my first package never even notified me that it had been shipped. But it did come on the same day as my second package. So it said... I got that on a Thursday. It told me my package was going to come on a Wednesday, but it didn't come to Thursday. So, right, this is my first time seeing how this is packaged up. Let me get y'all some space so y'all can see. All right, a lot of paper to protect it. So, I would say, again, the packaging, 10 out of 10. Okay. Something's in here. Ooh, okay, okay. So I have some packages in this. Um, so let me just go ahead. I'll tell you this one because this is the only volume I have of this. Is Mob Psycho 100. This is volume 2. I do have volume 1. And I started reading it. I haven't finished it yet. But I do enjoy the storyline so far. It's pretty, pretty good. I'm not going to lie. 
It's pretty, pretty good. Oh, let me I'll make it a little bit more for you guys so you can see the panels. Yeah, the artwork is very interesting in this series, I will not lie. So I did get the second volume in this series. And I believe I unboxed the first volume in one of my manga unboxings. So, yeah, this is volume two of Mob Psycho 100. And then I ended up getting some haiku. I think I, that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I mispronounce it, okay? I've heard like a lot of great things about this series and I ain't gonna cap. I've always seen this series on people's like bookshelves and stuff. So I was like, let me just go ahead and give it a try for myself. So the synopsis of this reads, ever since he saw the legendary player known as the Little Giant compete at the National Volleyball Finals, Shoyo Hinata, Hunata, has been aiming to be the best volleyball player ever. Who says you need to be tall to play volleyball when you can jump higher than anyone else? After losing his first and last volleyball match against Tobio Kajama, the king of the court, Shoyo Hinata swears to become his rival after graduating middle school. But what happens when the guy he wants to defeat ends up being his teammate? So that's the synopsis of the first volume and just the entire series itself. Haiku, uh, I've heard really good things about it. Again, like I said, and I just constantly keep seeing this on people's bookshelves. So I'm just like, maybe I should give it a try. So I did kind of buy a couple of volumes on here. This will kind of be like my first, like just straight up sport manga series. I mean, Cheeky Brad does have basketball in it, but it's not like... I mean, I would honestly say I would still consider that somewhat of a sports um, manga, even though it is labeled just like romance, because you get a lot of basketball added into that, and I really do enjoy it, though, so, yeah, this is volleyball. I ain't gonna cap. I genuinely thought this was gonna be soccer. I don't know why. I didn't even pay attention to the ball being up here, so I always thought when I saw this on people's bookshelf, it was talking about, like, soccer. I mean, yeah, soccer. So when I heard of volleyball, I was like, oh, okay, interesting. That's just very interesting. But again, that's Haiku Volume 1. And I got a couple of volumes of that as well. Like right here, I got Haku Volume 5. Then I got Haiku Volume 2. And this is volume three. Also, hold on a second. Let me go ahead and tell you guys how much I paid for that. For the haiku, I paid $7.99. And for Mob Psycho, I paid $9.59. My total for this entire purchase was $144.15. And then haiku volume five. So yeah, that's pretty much all. I bought one through five of Haiku. Okay, I'm gonna go through these because I know what these are just because it's, it's wrapped. Alrighty. So this is Love is an Illusion Volume 4. Now I talked about this series in my um, wrap up, November, uh, November wrap up and how I pretty much was gonna like stop reading it after Volume 2. Um, but I ended up enjoying it i ended up enjoying volume two so i was like let me go ahead and get the other two volumes especially for this deal because we all know these are very expensive so i ended up paying like 14.99 for this one and i do have volume three in here so i paid 14.99 for these which is originally like 24.99 so yeah and if you know you know why it's it's especially wrapped so yeah that's volume four. And this is volume three. Oh, that's his finger through his hair. That's volume three. I was like, what is that? What is his finger through his hair? That is so weird. Oh, no, it's not. It's not his finger. It's some like rose petals or something that's falling down. That's right there on the top of his head. But yeah, this is volume three. They look so cute, don't they? I really do like the art style in this series though. Alrighty, and then this is another manga bundle that I bought. 
So I have the first four volumes in this. Oh, these feels interesting. I want to grab volume one. Here it is. Well, technically the way this is set up, oh, you guys can already see it. It's got the first two volumes in each of these, if I'm not mistaken. Is the first two? Yes. So this is Tokyo Revengers volumes one and two. And then I have three and four, five and six, seven and eight. So I have one through eight of Tokyo Revengers. I've heard really interesting things about this. I go ahead and read you guys synopsis of this. It says, Collision Course with the Past. Watching the news, Hanagaki learns his junior high girlfriend, Tachibana, has died. A sudden, a sudden shove sends him 12 years into the past to face the Tokyo Manji gang that once made his life hell, which is also responsible for Hinata's death in the present. To save Hinata and change the future, Takimichi, oh they did not they say his last name, Take Michi must rise to the top of Kanto's most sinister delinquent gang. But things aren't so simple when he befriends the gang's leader, Mickey. What turns Mickey from the petulant child to the leader of the most infamous gang in Tokyo? Oh, child. Oh, that's one thing I can say about manga and just like Japanese culture. The Japanese culture, the names, baby. I cannot pronounce these names for the life of me. It, it's ridiculous. But pretty much, um, I ended up getting the first. This is the Tokyo Revengers manga Obunus one through four bundle, and I paid. 5426 for this bundle. So, which is, I would say, pretty good considering each individual bond, um, volume is $22.99. If I had just bought each individual item, $22.99 times 4 would be $91.96. So, I paid pretty much very good for this bundle for the Black Friday sale. So, this is volumes 1 and 2. I'm going to go ahead and try to, I'm just going to. Ooh, the art looks really good. I'm so happy. Y'all don't understand how happy I get when the art is like really good in the series. Because baby, I can't. And now I'm, I'm just jump flipping. So you can just see the art of it. I hope you guys can see. That looks really good. So, Tokyo Revengers. Just one and two. Okay, some of these feel different because this one feels like a very raspy feel. This one feels very slick and smooth. Um, this is Tokyo Revengers Volume 7 and 8. Okay, this is Tokyo Revengers 5 and 6. And this is Tokyo Volumes 3 and 4. Alrighty, you guys and that is it oh my god that was a lot so now let me show you guys just in order got Tokyo Avengers volumes 1 through 8 this is what they look like also the pages colors look different like the second one looks way white compared to the other three but yeah Tokyo Avengers Do you have volume Three and four of Love is an Illusion. Bam. And then and I have one through five of Haiku. And then I have one individual volume of Mob Psycho 100. And yeah, you guys, that's it. I had a total of I had a total of 38 volumes in this Crunchyroll unboxing. So you girl had a lot. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And also make sure you turn your notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.